Direct modelling provides a fast and efficient suite of tools to make sure parts are ready for manufacture. Select the large flat surface on the bottom of the part and create an aligned work plane. Open the model inspection toolbar and choose undercut shading. Areas that are accessible are shown in green. Regions with inadequate draft are highlighted in red. In particular, the ribs on one of the support bosses have no taper. Click one of the faces so that it is highlighted. Hold down the shift key and add the remaining seven faces to the selection. Click the draft icon on the solid edit toolbar. Set the draft angle to one degree and then pick the top face of any of the ribs as the reference. Draft is added and all of the surrounding surfaces are re-blended. Select the four faces that form the tops of the two pins at the front of the part. Click Remove and Heal to delete these faces and automatically close the resulting gaps. An alternative method is to select just the upper faces and then use the Replace Face tool. As its name suggests, this tool will replace the selected faces with another solid face, or optionally, a completely different surface. Recheck the draft angles. We are now ready to split the part into cavity and core. Select the work plane and delete it. Select the solid and open the wizard's toolbar. Choose separate solid into cavity core. The part is divided into separate regions according to the current axes. Dragging the arrows will show how the parts have been split. Ambiguous regions that could belong to either half are left in the middle. Select these faces and then choose which half they should be on, simply by picking. Possible regions are highlighted in yellow to help you choose. The faces that form the tail lights will require a slide. Select the faces and then add a new draw direction. A new arrow will appear, showing the direction of the slider. Dragging the arrows will now show the part splitting into three pieces. Select the remaining tail light faces and add them to the slide. You can either select faces individually, by box selection, or using the shift key and mouse to pick them individually. When you have all of the faces allocated to the correct regions, click Finish. You now have four separate solids, one for the core, another for the cavity, and two for the slides. Dividing model geometry up into separate layers or levels can help you manage your work more efficiently. To create a new layer, click in the layer selection box on the bottom toolbar, enter a number for the layer, and give it a unique name. To move items onto a layer, select them and then click on the layer number with the middle mouse button. Clicking the layer number with the left mouse button will turn that layer on or off, hiding or displaying the items that are on that layer. Repeat the process putting the core solid onto layer 10 and the slide solids onto layer 15. New items will be created on the currently selected layer. To choose which layer is active, click the arrow at the right of the box and pick the appropriate layer from the list. 